Yeah. Uh, hey, chat. I'm going to be like five minutes. Uh, I have to uh, put the car seat in because uh, grandma has to take Jason with her to drop something off real quick. So it's either I look after him for an hour and maybe he gets fussy or she takes him. So give me one second. And I'll be right back. Is reading an instrument? I was watching a stream of AI SpongeBob this morning. There, Yeah, there's AI. You know what? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Let's let's go take a look at it real quick. All right. Um, probably. Charmander. The Charmander is definitely the most fuckable Pokemon. He's cool. He can breathe a fire and he's got a cool tail. You know what? Never mind. Nope. Never mind. That. What a time to tune in. <laughs> you know what, though? He's right. Charmander's a fucking baby lizard. I can't stress this enough, but you would be uh, fucking something on fire. What, have you never used the uh, hot and uh, the icy hot condoms? Using condoms? Dude, I don't want to have fucking uh, Irish twins, okay? It's when you have children who are born the same year. Your vasectomy is in two weeks? Weird flex, but okay. I used to go to Planet Fitness. There was this guy who had something to prove, and you could tell in high school he wore Meta Militia and walked like this. I painted the image in your head? Okay, okay. He brought his, like, 10-year-old fucking kid to the gym at... Four in the morning! He looks like the 10-year-old version of DeWild Grimm. He had him sitting there, and he'd be like, One more! One more! Uh, it, was, it was just me and my wife. Every time we saw him, we're like, the fuck is this? I mean, I haven't done any research to see, like, when kids... Like, what's the proper age to teach kids how to exercise safely but i imagine it's like the age of 15 16 right not fucking 12 because it wasn't like he was teaching his kid it's like he was like this kid just looked like all he wanted to do was sleep in and maybe play fucking world of warcraft when he woke up in the morning you could tell this kid didn't want to be there so much is still developing the bones are still fairly soft so if you don't build it evenly you can mess up bone growth yeah, that's why I'm actually 5'11". You know, my dad, my dad had me squatting and lifting at a very young age, and, you know, it, like, stunted my growth. Is Barb okay? No. He quit streaming. He said he was tired of people saying, where's Mario Maker? So many people asked him, where's Mario Maker? Give me Grand Pooh Bear 3. When all he wanted to do was play Sekiro, and chat said, no Sekiro. That's sad. So Tofu, when are you playing Mario Maker 2? You guys want so you guys want another OOT rando? Make a poll. It can be rigged with channel points. Welcome to life. Like the Electoral College? Rigged by channel points? You mean that that's more like lobbying. I don't think I don't think channel points are equivalent to the Electoral College. I would say that that's equivalent to lobbying. You could I I could see an argument for gerrymandering. I have a lot of meat. I'm willing to throw at Zooter. He threw 20k meat on voting. I'm really curious to see how many people like spent money voting. You've never used it before anyway. Let's see what happens. 400,000 channel points? Wow, they're going to be really pissed off when they realize that I'm not doing either and I'm going to play another Mario hack, huh? Holy fuck. Someone's about to get really angry. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Keck W minus 366k. <laughs> Me thrown into the fucking shredder. If Barb did this, he would receive 50 essays on Discord about leaving the community. Uh, guess what? I don't care about your channel points. You know what the real Chad move should have been? I should have just ended stream after the poll. I'm back, uh, and I'm gonna just have to have dad duty here in like the next, in, in about 30 minutes. Hold on one second. Chad, hold on one second. All right, he is uh, currently fighting going to sleep. I don't know if that was intended or not. No one's gonna comment that I just got a fucking casual yump and got a checkpoint from it. I just gamed out of my mind and you guys are just like, <laughs> last. <laughs> All right, you know what? I deserve this for myself. I, you know what? I earned that. And I realized the gift at the end fucked up, but you know what? It is what it is. The more you give a fuck about politics, the more miserable you are. So you started tuning it all out and you're happy to be uh, part of the problem.
I, to a point, I, I like, I don't know, man. I feel like comprehending politics that are in immediate effect of you are important because if you don't understand what's affecting you, then how are you supposed to prevent it when it actually causes problems? They want to increase the age of retirement from 62 to 65. They're dumping trash on politicians' doorsteps. If I could just wave a magic wand, if I was the president, um, I would probably ban foot porn. If you're a furry, you have to wear a fucking name tag with an address of where you reside in case you get lost. Government, oh, whoa, well, government mandated collar. <laughs> fucking Mario, man. Uh, actually, though, I'd make it so as a politician, you are not ex uh, you're not capable of accepting or earning money outside of your salary. I, I think money in politician, money in politics is 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 just it's fucked everything. Yeah, lobbies, everything. It's 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 all fucked. Can you please stop? Oh my god, now the doorbell's ringing. Ah! This is me right now. <laughs> Max, come here. This is me right now. With everything going on in my house. That's literally me. The fucking doorbell. The fucking Max is barking. My son's trying to sleep. I'm trying to work. That guy at least has delicious fruit. You don't. I don't have any delicious fruit. My son's falling asleep at least. So I actually don't have to feed him anything. Bitch can feed himself. Um, I, I, you know, I've had this like really bad eye twitch now for like a couple months where my left eye just randomly starts twitching. It's whenever I read Twitch chat. Maybe it's the incomparable stress of having child and severe lack of... Dude, dude, you guys want to hear something? Crazy. My son, this past night, slept for seven hours straight. And he finally woke up and he's like, I'm really hungry. And screamed his fucking tits off. Me and my wife are sitting there like creating a fucking pie chart on everything we did so we could replicate it every night. Does he have daddy lungs? I mean, comparatively, have family huggies to the rest of the mouth breathing Twitch chat that I talk to every day. My lungs are that of a fucking Greek god. Anybody know why we need to exhale to make sound with our vocal cords before I Google it? Your vocal cords are basically flesh kazoos. That is not what I expected to read this morning. Get a girl. Have you come to her parents? I forgot how many dates it was that I met Kate's parents, but I remember the first time I met them. They did not have a very positive opinion of me because my now brother-in-law spoke pretty negative about me dating his sister-in-law. And now I gave her a grandchild, and I am the favorite. Funny how that works out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I don't want Tenny dating Mr. Noblet. He is bad news. <laughs> you once escaped a date from a crazy girl by asking a chef if you could leave through the kitchen. Wow. You don't just say that you're not interested anymore? You just leave them hanging? To be fair, if they are crazy, some people are afraid of confrontation. I don't understand how you can be afraid of confrontation. I mean, I understand how. I just couldn't imagine wanting to continue to live my life that way. Yeah, and if she's crazy and then finds out you ditched her, what do you think's gonna happen? You had to change your number and shit. She was a real problem. Holy fuck. There was, the only time I've ever had a really crazy girl that was after me, was in high school. There was this girl, I'll never forget her name. Her name was Brittany. You guys remember like the big bouffant back head? You know, like the girls would like fucking tease their hair and it'd all come down. Remember that shit? I was so hot. She was a little chunky, but she had enormous fucking tits. And that's how everyone basically knew her at the time. Well, apparently she had an enormous crush on me. Uh, and we used to chat on AOL Instant Messenger. Okay. I, I was getting to know her a little bit. And then one night, mind you, I was 15 at the time. One night, she asked me if I was interested in her. And I told her I was not. She, like, basically had this meltdown, confessing her love to me, and and I just want you to be, ha and mind you, it, it, like, we, we haven't kissed, hugged, touched hands, anything. It was just so awkward. It was just so, I just remember feeling so awkward because I didn't like her. No, and here's the best part, right? She ended up having three kids by the time she was 18. Dodged a fucking bullet, dude. I declined a sex maniac. Did she name any of her kids Chris? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. You found out later that this girl's previous boyfriend had to get a restraining order? The girl I lost my virginity to tried to make me a cuck. She legit wanted me to watch her have sex with my best friend and said in exchange she would let me have sex with her best friend. She wrote me a letter that she handed to me in person asking if this is something I would be interested in doing. She wrote a letter 
explaining the benefits it would have to our relationship. Yeah, we broke up shortly after that. You know, I guess in retrospect, looking at it, considering that her boyfriend before me was a 36 year old guy i should have totally just like got the hint on that one huh <laughs> i would have fucking ran let me tell you how awkward it is when i'm sitting there dude i'm sitting there like this a little 17 year old fucking extra short i legitimately asked her dad like, why'd you let kimberly date a 36 year old man this was this was her dad's name he was rust his name was rusty he's like i have raised her to where she's old enough to make her own decisions and if she wants to date him you know what? She can date him. I remember the first time I met Rusty too. Okay, he's like, dude, Rusty was like this six foot six. Imagine someone who's like 40% redneck uh, and 60% I want to be high class. First time I met him, didn't even shake my hand. He told me to just keep my, my pecker in my pants. He's like, you keep your pecker in your pants. All right, hi, my name's Rusty. My daughter can choose who she fucks, but don't you dare have sex with her. Oh, I had a streamer friend get docs recently. Is this something that is common to happen? It really sucks that you're dealing with it. Yeah, it happens. The best thing you could do is just move on, honestly. I think also a trick that a lot of people don't realize, if I don't want people knowing my name and someone types my name in chat, the best thing I could do is ignore it because the second you make it a banned word or you time it out, it only confirms that that's what it is. So your best thing to do is just just pretend you got to ignore it completely. Why are people like this? Boredom. You know, you know the phrase, idle hands are the devil's playthings. I'm not religious. It's when you don't have things to solve and you don't find things to solve, you don't find ways to better yourself as your, your character, you're going to find problems and create them. Oh, dude, religion has so much wisdom. A hundred percent. Religion bad? We all have a religion. Whether it's a traditional one or not, we all have some kind of religion. You think a religion is defined by a belief in a superhuman power? I think tradi traditional religion had, definitely has a belief in a superpower. Yeah, religions versus belief. What would you guys say is the difference between a religion and a cult? A leader who breaks the law. History. There are actual guidelines for what defines a cult. First, bald. Second, Streamer. All right, checklist of cults. The group is focused on a living leader to whom members seem to display excessively zealous, unquestioning commitment. Mind numbing techniques. Oh my God. Meditation, chanting, speaking in tongues, denunciation sessions, debilitating work routines are used to suppress doubts about the group and its leaders. Group is elitist. Claiming a special exalted status for itself, its leaders and members. The group has polarized us versus them mentality. Causes conflict with wider society. Oh no. Group leader is not accountable to any authority. Oh fuck. Give up personal goals and activities. Welp. I guess we're a cult. <laughs> All right, who's preparing the juice? Chat, no, you're chanting. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I guess it's time to get a cult emo. It's just going to be extra short with a dark hood and red eyes. The internet and smartphones have replaced school already. It's just a question of not uh, when, but if. Dude, I typed in this prompt to chat GPT. Chat GPT is my teacher, and they provide me with a scenario in regards to the field that I'm asking about. They will then judge my response and grade it, and based on my grade, give me a more difficult scenario or make it easier so I have a chance to learn. AI is gonna ruin the human experience. Says the fucking VTuber. I don't wanna hear a goddamn fucking thing about ruining human experiences with a VTuber. Give me a fucking break. Calling the kettle black. One more! That emote is fucking vile. It's a cute little fox, which is very stinky. The emote is named Stinky, and it looks like it's blushing. Like it just got complimented. God, so fucking disgusting. Stop hating so much on furries. I don't... What are you talking about? I am so welcoming of furries. I put up with so much fucking shit from furries in my channel. I don't know what you're on about. I give these furries in my channel a much longer leash than they get at home, okay? I don't want to hear a goddamn thing. Shorter leash, please. 